Hey everyone, this is Adam from Games Fiends here, and this week's review is a game called, right, deep breath now, 1931, Scheherazade and the Library of Pergamum. I think that's how you pronounce it. The title is not the only thing that's overly verbose in this game, however. In fact, whilst playing through it constantly, it made me ask the question, why would you make a game when you could just write a book? Which is essentially what the developers Black Chicken Studios should have done, especially as the route to self-publication is so easy today thanks to things like the Amazon Kindle store. So you play a young socialite orphan named Sherazade Keating, or Sadie for short. She's very much in the same vein as Tintin as a character. She's a, a globe-trotting college student with a fondness for archaeology and history and, and a lot of other interests that are a bit more on the athletic side as well. So she's quite a well-rounded character and quite pleasant, warm and engaging. You play the role of this hyper-intelligent young lady throughout one year of her life as she makes her way not only through college, but also seeks to uncover a long-forgotten mystery that her parents stumbled upon many years ago. The thing is, the story is quite whimsical and breezy and pleasant enough. You could see a novel of this selling well amongst older kids and younger teenagers, uh, particularly amongst girls. The main character is charming, she's engaging as a protagonist, the scope of the plot takes you across the world and meeting with various individuals, and there is a bit of mystery and intrigue which helps drive the narrative along. But the actual gameplay itself is relatively defunct at best and non-existent at worst. You can probably see that this video is fairly stilted, and that's pretty much how this game is. You read a couple of lines of text or dialogue, then click the mouse button and read another few lines of text. And that's it. There's nothing else to it really. No matter how engaging the story, this soon becomes rather tedious and not helped at all by the frequent copy and paste of game artifacts, which means that what you are looking at right now is a sizeable percentage of the overall game. I felt if I'd have been handed a book instead of a game, then this actually would have scored quite highly. The story is well written and good, but it's been integrated into what barely passes as a game. The Art Deco style is well executed, but sharply contrasting this for the worst are anime style characters which are quite jarring when you consider both the location and the time period of the title. The game liberally scatters missions across the year-long time period and gives you the option of obtaining bonus cards which can be used to help you through certain challenges. Things like avoiding ex-boyfriends, listening to a classical concert or thinking about your parents can help you build up a roster of cards with different attributes which you can then deploy during the quests. So some of those will help you with stealth, some of those attributes will help you with an athletic side quest um, some of them will help you with your sort of logic thinking and problem solving. Except the net result of doing any of these minor activities to obtain these cards are just a bit of dialogue on the screen and that is it. You get to perform three actions during each day and unless the story itself takes over at key dates such as a class trip to Egypt or a, a meeting with your professor at college then the whole monotony of it all makes for a very slow and tedious game. The tutorial was next to useless. It was placed right in the beginning of the first chapter and slapped between the prose of the story. The game does a really poor job of showing you how the concept of these cards actually works. Scheherazade promises over 100 hours of gameplay and a range of different endings depending on your choices. What is nice is that at no point does the game completely block you off from progression if you don't have enough skill to pass through one of the challenges. You will fail it, but an alternative solution is easily found, which again may make some of you ask the question, what's the point of playing it? So you're never stuck at any point, which is quite merciful given the obvious lack of engaging gameplay. The sound only comes from the musical score, which is quite nice, but sadly there are too few tracks. As a result of that, you are subjected to the same few pieces of music repeatedly, and when you stack that up against the drudgery of clicking through the text and the repeated graphics, then it really doesn't do the title any favours. So, summing up. With Scheherazade, there's no doubt that you have a gripping and enjoyable yarn filled with an interesting cast of characters, and not to mention the bubbly and bright protagonist herself. But as a game, it draws out what little gameplay it has for an unacceptably long period of time, and places far too much emphasis on repeated mouse clicks to progress the text and story along. 
Overall, I'm giving this a 3 out of 10, and if I'm brutally honest, the three points are for the story and the story itself. The art style is very nice, but really there isn't much here in terms of the gameplay. Throw it out there as a book, and honestly I could see quite a few young kids and teenagers being really into this story. Otherwise, it kind of fails.